children today we will learn to write any number in different ways using addition Chanda squirrel bunny rabbit and bobbin monkey decided to build a house in the forest Bobbin told Chanda and Bunny that they should build a house together so that their house is the strongest but Chanda and Bunny refused and said that they will build their own separate houses Chanda collected 83 thin twigs for her house and built her own small house. She first used 50 green twigs and 33 brown twigs, but Chanda did not like the design of the house. So she rebuilt her house using 30 green twigs and 53 brown twigs. So how many thin twigs did Chanda use this time? Chanda again used only 83 thin twigs. Yes children, any number can be represented by the addition of different pairs of numbers. Chanda can build her house with 83 thin twigs choosing different combinations of green and brown twigs. Can you split this number in more ways? Bunny built his house with 124 pieces of wood he built his house using 100 pieces of black wood and 24 pieces of yellow wood if bunny used 80 black wood and 44 yellow wood would bunny still have used only 124 wood children you can find the answer to this question by using the process of adding two digit numbers Yes bunny will use a total of 124 sticks using 80 black and 44 yellow wood We can write 124 in the following ways Bobbin built a very simple house using only 78 bricks. He used 50 white colored bricks, 18 red colored bricks and 10 brown bricks. Can Bobbin make a house with different combinations of white, red and brown bricks and still use a total of 78 bricks? Let's complete this table and find the answer to this question. Well done children this table is filled in the right way Finally Chanda Bunny and Babbin have built their houses Children in this lesson we learned to write any number in different ways using addition we will learn more about this in the next lesson children in the previous lesson we learned to write any number in different ways using addition in this lesson we will see some interesting examples of it bubblu does a lot of mischief he often makes fun of other children one day an angel came in bubblu's dream and told him that if he does not stop his mischief then his nose will grow longer every time he is mischievous the next day when bubblu woke up from his sleep he thought that it was only a dream and he could go on doing mischief as usual bubblu made fun of raju and immediately his nose grew a little longer bubblu got scared throughout the day he kept doing mischief and his mm-hmm. nose grew longer mm-hmm. and longer Bablu fell asleep at night very sad 
That night the angel came again in his dream. Bablu asked the angel how he can fix his nose again. The angel told him that he would have to stop doing mischiefs and would also have to answer the questions asked by the angel over two riddles. Only then will his nose become normal. The angel showed Bablu these numbers and said that he will have to make 71 by adding these numbers in three different ways and remember he can only take two numbers at a time the next day bablu roamed around sad throughout the day and did not do any mischief but he was unable to find the answer to the angel's riddle At the end of the day he asked Chanda for help. Chanda added 60 and 11 to make 71. Then she added 70 and 1 to make 71 in the other way. And finally she added 21 and 50 to make 71 in the third way. At night Bablu showed Chanda's answers to the angel. Chanda's answers were correct. The angel made Bablu's nose slightly small. This time she asked him to make 99 in three different ways. But this time he can take only three numbers at a time. This time there were more numbers and Chanda could not help him. Gaggu then helped Bablu in finding a solution to this puzzle. Gaggu made a list of what number would have to be added to get 99 from each number. Then he removed those pairs of numbers that were not in the list given by the angel. In this way, Gaggu had three answers to the puzzle. At night Bablu showed Gaggu's answer to the angel. Gaggu's answers were correct. The angel fixed Bablu's nose perfectly. Bablu promised never to do mischiefs again. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples of writing any number in different ways using addition. this lesson we will learn more about writing numbers in different ways one day tufan the turtle saw a cave as tufan tried to open the door a voice came from inside if you want to find the treasure hidden in the cave you have to open three doors there is a puzzle on each door When you find the right answer to the puzzle that door will open. Suddenly, Tufan can see this question above that mark. Fill the numbers in the right places in the corners of the triangle in such a way that the addition of the numbers in each of the two corners is equal to the number written in between them. Tufan began to find an answer to the puzzle. First, he added 19 and 10. He got 29. Then he added 15 to 19 and got 34. Now, Tufan saw the numbers written on the side of the triangle. He noticed that on the side on which the number is 29 He can put the numbers 10 and 19 on two corners and the side which has the number 34 written he can put the numbers 19 and 15 in this way Tufan put all the numbers in their correct places Tufan's answer was absolutely correct the first door of the cave opened Now 
Tufan entered the cave and saw another door. Tufan found this puzzle at the second door. Here is a windmill. Fill in the blanks on the windmill and open the next door. Let us find the answer to this puzzle with Tufan. Children, what do we have to do here? Let us first solve the addition question on the windmill. If we add 38 to 50, what will be the total? That's right, 88. Come, let's fill the blank space. Now, we will solve the subtraction question on the windmill. If we subtract 38 from 172, what will be left? Yes, we are left with 134. Let us fill it in the second blank on the windmill. Our puzzle is solved. Hey, the windmill started moving. Tufan too found the answer to the puzzle with us. The second door opens. Tufan started moving faster to reach the third door. At last, Tufan reached the third door. At the third and last door, Tufan saw this puzzle. Tufan has found the right answer to the puzzle. Now you too try to find the answer to this puzzle. The third door opened and Tufan found a lot of treasure. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples of writing any number in different ways using addition.